In John chapter 13, we find Jesus washing the feet of his disciples. And he asked them the question in verse 15, Do you know what I have done to you? Well, apparently no one answered the question. Then Jesus said, For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Now, in this darkening time when Jesus knew that the hour had come that he should depart from this world, he enhanced his message with his actions. And this is just one of the many examples revealed to us throughout the ministry of Christ. Jesus lived on this earth approximately 33 years, and the last three years were concentrated upon his teaching and ultimately his sacrifice for the sins of the world. I've often wondered why, like the proverbial iceberg, 90% of his earthly life was hidden from our view. Were the first 30 years simply a growth period where Jesus matured and then began his mission? Well, it would be interesting to know exactly all of the things that Jesus engaged in during the earlier years of his life, but we really don't know that much about that period. Very little has been revealed to us. In the book of Hebrews, God's purpose for the entire earthly life of Christ can be clearly seen. We read in Hebrews 2 and verse 17, he had to be made like his brethren. We see in verse five, or chapter 5 and verse 8, though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. We also read that he was in always tempted, like as we are, yet without sin. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted, chapter 2 and verse 18. And then in chapter 5 and verse 9, and having been perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Friends, Jesus was not just passing time until his moment arrived to preach the gospel and then go to the cross. Jesus was living the daily life that we live. He faced the same pains and heartaches and temptations that present themselves before us. And we can look to Jesus in those times of trial and misery and know that he understands. Knowing, as Hebrews 4 and verse 5 tells us, that we have a high priest who sympathizes with our weaknesses. Friends, Jesus sympathizes with our weaknesses, meaning he will aid us when we are tempted. He knows what we're going through because he's been there. He showed us how to face temptation without giving in to sin. He showed us how to live life without giving up. Friends, Jesus is our perfect example. He taught us that we are to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves, as we read in Mark 12, verses 30 and 31. He told us that no other commandment is greater than these, and though he has all authority to teach and every right to command these things, he took it one step further. We see that our example not only taught, not only commanded, but also lived these principles before men. And as we might say today, he didn't just talk the talk, he also walked the walk. And he did this to show us that it can be done and that even we can succeed when we have his grace and mercy. The last words of the Gospel of John proclaim that Jesus did many things that were not written in this book, but that the things that were written were there as an example to show us the way that we are to live godly lives. Friends, that means that we are to be walking each day in the footsteps of Jesus, following the pattern that he set for us. Jesus taught us so much in his life by his actions, his attitude, his principles, his love, and his purpose. And friends, we cannot find a better life than this. We want to thank you for 
joining us for our program today. And we pray that God blesses you with a wonderful day.